Hello Electron. So I want to show you again, I have sent this already before, but, and I've already showed this on Liam Killen's channel as well, and uh, I have a video up on my own uh, small channel. I wanted to send this video to you just as a reminder. I'm still using it, and it's more useful and more amazing than, than I saw it to be before. Just a quick review, basically, when the digitact or the syntact or the digitone or the analog rhythm or the analog four, when those, but we're using the digitact in this case, when it's being sequenced externally here by the T1, torso T1, then the sequencer of the digitact can be filled with um, fill trigs. And then the, so then when you hold down a fill trig, this you can see it's full of trigs, they're all fill trigs. When I hold it down, um, so let's just listen to the kick. All right, so this one's a fill trig and nothing's on it. And we've activated track one, which is the kick. When we hold it down, let's go into the bass filter and high pass it. Now let's lock some, everything's normal, right? Lock, put some delay on there, a little bit of reverb, a little bit of uh, sample rate reduction. And affect the attack on the amp. Okay, cool, but then when we let it go, it goes back. Now, from what I understand, some people, when I made my video about this, some people, one or two people mentioned that they had encountered this, but they saw it as a as a problem. And that kind of scared me because if Electron saw it as a problem or as enough if enough people saw it as a problem, they might get rid of this, which would be a huge, huge bummer for me. Because right now with this bug I can do this. Alright, so let's look at this. Got all my sounds, right? I can go like this. So those are those are scenes. I, I don't care what any whatever you call it, those are scenes. With these, I guess because they're fill trigs, they're not being activated at all times. Like you've only got one activated when you hold it down, and then it, it's sort of acting like a fill trig, but you're not pressing the fill button, you're pressing the, the sequencer step, and it just brings them all to life. So that they, I guess they aren't being recognized as traditional parameter locks. So if the limit says like, say like a 70 or something, however much the limit is for the entire pattern, that becomes it. Well, actually I haven't tested the limit for locks in a particular, um, or maybe I have, I can't remember, but at any rate, if there is a limit, it's going to be the limit that is for an entire pattern for a single scene. So that means instead of, and that's at the worst case scenario, when you hold one scene, you have only like whatever, 70 or something. So for, as you saw here for performance, it works incredibly well. One, uh, and then just, just, to, just to show off here. So my favorite way of using this uh, is, so I've got, um, well actually let's, let's use the, um, track six, which has the percussion as an example. So right now, the, the pattern of this percussion is being dictated by two LFOs. One of them is the sample tuning on hold mode, and the other one is sample length. So an LFO is on even speeds. They're, they're both on 48, with a multiplier of 16 for the sample length, and 16 also for the tuning. Those are that 
that's that's controlling this repeating locked in pattern now if the lfo speed is knocked off just slightly and then snap back to its original even 48 speed it's going to change the um it's going to change the actual uh lfo pattern uh, or it's going to change the pattern for like it's going to change the loop it's going to make it sound different so this one scene here i've designed to just basically just get rid of everything uh, so you don't hear anything except for the clap so when you hold this down you're going to hear the clap still but it's going to be the clap's going to ha happen less often and then this bongo line is going to be completely different down and let it go now it's, now it's different so it's different every time I go into the little breakdown and this is incredibly useful for bass music where there's these little breakdowns and drops So basically the message here is please don't do anything to this bug. It is, the people that know about this are very glad that it exists. I'm a small channel. I had a chance to talk about this on Liam Killen's channel and I've had, you know, some people reach out to me as a result of it. Not, not that many though. And um, so like if I was this massive channel, like if I was Ricky Teens and I started to, I actually sent this to Ricky, but he didn't, you know, say, do anything about it. But if he, if he made a video of this, then the community would, obviously the more people would know about it. So I, I plan on, you know, st um, still promoting this and circulating it and getting it into the right hands. But, and, and making my own, like I made my own video two years or a couple of years ago, but I'm going to make another one that's shorter and a lot more like, impactful it doesn't I'm, I was kind of rambling a lot I, it took a long time but uh, for now I just figured I'd send this to you quickly and first so that you had a refresher and a, re a reminder of this and uh, just in case there was you know maybe a few people had, had mentioned it I know it's kind of like not officially supposed to be there so if enough people complained about it you'd probably want to change it but please believe me that this thing is is a huge it's just it's just a miracle it's a huge thing it's it's become the backbone of my live set when i'm using the dig attack for these and and not just the dig attack but the analog four as well you just hold a sequencer step right and then it's 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 a breakdown or it does all these kind of crazy things you, you could have and of course it's like i've only got 16 steps here for one page right but you could have up to four pages and each one of those steps it's 64 steps. Uh, each one of those can be a different scene that's doing completely different things. You could have sample locks uh, change change the samples completely for every single track in that pattern. You could comp give it a completely different set of samples, in, in, like changing the entire kit. And the, of course, in the Dig Attack Mark II, which is for for which this works as well, you can have like the two the whatever 100 what is 128 different scenes like in a single, you know because uh, you, you, you got the two, uh, you know, the two uh, rows of pages, the f uh, eight pages or whatever. So it's just, it's just incredible. And uh, yeah, keep on doing what you're doing, Electron. And I hope you hold on to this, uh, this bug as long as you possibly can. If not, I mean, I know that you wouldn't get rid of something if it's, um, if people are using it, which is, I guess, just why I'm sending this to you to show you that I am using it. So I love you. Take it easy. Uh, talk to you. Talk to you when I talk to you.